Good morning, guys. It is Friday. And have you seen from the last video, I got my badge. Yeah. Same shirt. Well, it's washed. But. Today, we are going to touch a pre-trip. Well, today is just um, the all-important safety meeting for priming. So where me and Kyle are going to sit in on that. And probably NAP Transport Aaron will be there. Well, I'm, pretty, well, I'm pretty sure he'll be there. Him and Kyle are pretty tight. You can see from this video right here, or this picture right here, that they are pretty funny. So, <clears throat> today, our objective is to do the safety, sit on the safety meeting, and listen how we can make $100,000 at Prime, and listen to Steve Fields talk about safety. Yes. So, we're going to do that, and then we're going to do a pre-trip on the truck, just a pre-trip. Um, just a, just a mechanical outside pre-trip. Um, I have that pretty good and we, people learn on a freight liner. Well, it just so happens my trainer has a Peterbilt and shit's different, different locations, different looks. So be aware when you are in PSD and they say you watched this, uh, video online on YouTube about it from the Prime Train, the Prime Inc. pre-trip inspection. It is on a red freight liner. And, and, um, that, um, uh, so when you, this, this being known, they have three different models of trucks, internationals, freight liners, and Peterbilt's. So even though you're learning on a freight liner and most of the trucks on the pad are freight liners, if you're on the pad on your pre-trip, but what if your trainer has a Peterbilt? What if your trainer has an international? You're going to have to be versatile and you're going to have to know what parts or where on what make and model. Just say no. Luckily for me, I was a four year diesel mechanic out of high school. And I know, um, it was a truck mechanic, so I know these parts. And I'm not um, dumb when it comes to the mechanical side of things. So, after we do our pre-trip, we are going to go down to Lancaster, Pennsylvania to OJ's Tank Wash. Wash, wash, whatever you want to say. And we are going to get our inedible tanker washed out. Because come to find out, we have a trip coming up. And then this will be the first day on the pad. Well, what's the, uh... No. It was on the pad... On the pad Thursday night. You've probably seen video, Kyle's video. It was on the pad Thursday night, I forgot. And we did some straight, we did straight line back and offsets. And I said, what the hell, let's try an alley dock, which that didn't last very long. So, yeah. So, hang on, we got some, I've got some video coming up of our trip to OJ's. I'm sure Kyle's doing some video on his channel about going to OJ. And, um... So stay tuned. All right, guys, we made it to OJ's Tank Wash down here in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. That is the old sliver. I think that's what Kyle calls it. My first, my first triumph for drive in the in a, in a tractor and trailer tanker. So the reason we come here is because Tony and Kyle had a inedible load coming from Missouri to come over to Hazleton with uh, it's called Dive, Dog Food Digest 
I'm not sure what it is. It's like enzymes that you that goes into your dog your pet food, dog food. And what that does is helps your 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 dog digest its food. Yeah, got me. But paid pretty good to come over across the across the way. And uh he let me drive down here, which is probably about two and a half hours. Um you know, we're waiting for the tanker to get washed. We dropped it. Waiting for the tanker to we'll get washed. About two hours. We'll hook it back up. And we'll take it back to the Prime's yard in Pittston. Where we'll, uh, we'll, we'll park. And probably get some dinner. And then uh, we'll have some pad time. So you'll see the pad time on his video. And his channel, 4 Wide Trucking. I'll leave it in the description box. So, yeah, this stuff's pretty cool. I mean, look at all the, the tanker trailers back there. So, I'm glad I went tanker. I think this is going to be fun. This is going to be interesting. Um, <laughs> so, it was fun coming down the road. I mean, the trucks and now that the trucks nowadays are nothing like the trucks I, I grew up driving. 86 Superline with a 12-speed clutch. Nothing like it. Nothing like it at all. The Peterbilt's pretty smooth. I think I want me a Peterbilt. Um, when I get an upgrade to get my own truck. I like it. So, this stage of PSD, I mean, if you don't have a trainer, they're going to put you on the pad. If you want to be a pad baby, they call it, then... Uh, They'll put you on, um, they'll, you'll just stay on the pad with a trainer and you'll do stuff that way. So, with my level of PSD, um, I had Kyle, so I feel very fortunate that I'm able to get out and drive. We did a pre-trip this morning on just the chassis and the uh, engine compartment. Um, tonight, when we get to the yard or to get to the pad, probably do some air brake, the air brake test, parallel park, some more um, alley docking, and then um, we have a load for Monday. But that's a whole different video. So. So I'm going to chill out. We just had some leftover dinner for lunch from the Olive Garden from last night. So Kyle's a cool dude. So we'll see you when we get back to uh, Pittston. All right, guys. We're back from Pittston, or we're back from OJ's Tank Wash. Whoo. What a day. Only took about 45 minutes. We still have two hours to wash that tanker out. So, uh, it was interesting. I mean, it was fun getting behind the wheel again. Um, I say again because it's been 20 years since I've been behind the wheel of a big truck. It was a dump truck, but still a big truck. So, the plan for the weekend is to get some pad time in. I don't know if I'll get any video of that or not. I'm staying pretty focused. Um, he, Kyle at Four Wide Trucking, his link will be in the description box. He is keeping up to date. Um, if you want to see my training progress, um, he's actually doing little clips of uh, you know, me backing and stuff like that. <clears throat> the truck handle is like a, like a, like a Cadillac. Of course, it was empty, and um, I can't drive a loaded truck on my permit, the loaded tanker anyway. If I was going flatbed or reefer, I would be able to drive a loaded truck. But because the load moves in a tanker, they don't want uh, they don't want a, a student um, driving the truck, which is understandable. 
what a day. Well, we didn't go to the pad. We didn't do no nothing. By the time we got back, it was, uh, I was like damn near uh, seven, seven o'clock, something like that. And I was tired and he was tired. So <clears throat> we, I, we elected just to wait until tomorrow, Saturday. What a fun, what a, it's been a trip, man. I like it. Feels good, man, get behind the wheel. I didn't hit no curbs, curbs. Didn't hit no, didn't go across any lines. You know, going into, we had a pretty good tight stop spot going into the road at, excuse me, for the tank wash. And one lane, one lane closed. And we had to get into the oncoming lane with to go around it obviously through one lane. And halfway through the end, halfway through the job site, we had to make a, a swooping left turn to get around an obstacle to get in there. One shot, got it. I do know we have a load of inedible eggs going for Monday morning. We got to be in Woodridge, New York, at. Uh, eight o'clock but we can show up four hours early I'm not sure what time kyle wants to roll out but so we got tomorrow and sunday to hit the pad so whatever uh you know whatever whatever he worked up on his channel you work up on his channel for wide trucking what a great great, great dude man you know, i think i impressed him a little bit show him how well i can drive so Today would be day two being on his truck. So, well guys, I'm tired. It's late. I'm gonna go ahead and call it a day. I do appreciate you guys sticking with me. Through this journey it's been it's been a journey so far so I really can't wait to finish it up so anyway so anyway <clears throat> any god damn it so anyway guys thanks for following me like, share, subscribe if you haven't. Um, we'll be doing some more cooking videos on the truck, hopefully, when I get mine. So just be patient. Um, so, like, share, subscribe. Share with your friends and family in the world. And when you do share with them, tell them the best barbecue and truck driver comes from the river. And we'll see you on the next one.